much, ma'am. It's so amazing to uh, have an opportunity to just, uh, you know, interact with you. I'll just, before we start, give a very short, quick uh, uh, brief about myself. So I've been, uh, uh, for the longest time, for 15 years, I've been a teacher in an IB school. Uh, had an opportunity to work with TISB and uh, Indus and MIT Vishwa Shanti Gurukul, JBCN in Bombay. And I totally knew for, and I wasn't a great student when I, I went to school. And I'm a perfect example of, you know, how just because one was not good in numbers, that was the worst thing that it was, it used to be math test used to be a nightmare for me. And because of which I was just labeled, I think if I didn't have a sane, a good parents who didn't kind of pressurize me as much as the school pressure, I would have gone insane. So there was, there used to be so much of pressure about, you know, uh, uh, the rote learning and those sort of methods. So when I started actually uh, uh, teaching and my first experience was with, was with TISB, it's one of, you know, at that time, uh, it was the best uh, IB school in Asia Pacific region back then in 2004, five when I joined them. And uh, ma'am, it, it used to be so amazing. I underwent my, uh, you know, quick training at job. So, which is more beneficial than in a workshop or something like that. And every single day when I engaged myself in some activities or something that I did with students, I used to say, oh my God, this is, I mean, I just felt, I wish I was taught like this. We were just expected to learn the content the way it is so much that there was no room left for individuality, you know, and uh, uh, so, so, uh, so this brings me uh, uh, to, uh, you know, having such a lovely experience with all these uh, great schools that I've worked with. And today when we were uh, setting up a theme for like, you know, how do we want to, what do we want to learn from the, uh, the leaders like you? So it was, it just came to me that, you know, the world is so unidimensional. So why cannot our education system be unidimensional? And thankfully with NEP, uh, you know, those elements have been uh, at least incorporated on paper now. And let's see how much time as a country we take to kind of really execute it to, you know, the entire startup. That is very important. See, plans like we have had many five-year plans. So implementation, I think is perfectly fine, but that is implementation it all depends on. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, so ma'am, uh, 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 you know, I would just uh, like to know uh, something uh, uh, at the very outset that what is it that as a education leader, you think how the uh, changing landscape of education is, uh, uh, you know, uh, how are we going to see this landscape changing in post COVID world, especially, and maybe NEP has come at just the right time. So just your views, ma'am. Thank you, Anju, for that uh, question. And uh, in fact, when we talk about the changing uh, landscape of education uh, post-COVID, in fact, right now it's not post-COVID, it's COVID times yet. Uh, so the education landscape is uh, enduring substantial changes as a result of technological novelties. So we have already seen that edification already has evolved from mode of doodle boards to discussion boards. And uh, it's, it's good to stay on the top of the trends uh, and know uh, where your field is directed. Uh, if you look at uh, the system, like most of the learning management systems have already switched over uh, to cloud-based systems. And uh, if you look at universally, most of the educators have embraced e-learning. Uh, isn't it? So it, it, the switch has been so very uh, smooth uh, and the transition has been so very, I know they must have sweated or uh, uh, how much, the, the, I mean, they must have toiled overnight and their sweat and blood, but finally it has been a beautiful e-learning uh, platforms and have combined conversation boards, social media, wikis, blogs, and uh, you know, other digital tools also for the class delivery. If you talk about the student engagement, you talk about, class participation has increased and some instant platforms like uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, WhatsApp, they were never so much, I mean, they've always existed, isn't it? But the way it has uh, taken uh, everybody off the feet, you know, so that is wonderful. And so e-learning, 
will incorporate more interactive video or, or you know game based platforms for um, for learning for the for the learners to participate in and experience them listening to those uh, traditional lectures and a new one very important thing which i uh, feel is that no boundary for students to attend the classes uh, the classes may have students across the world so the boundaries of a typical traditional uh, classes will be changed to more of an uh, you know open class structure so that is what uh, i can begin to see as the changing landscape already so ma'am just a uh, continuing question so uh, while uh, you know students while the schools have facilitated uh, you know an ecosystem where the learning didn't stop all right i mean it was like you just correctly said we all thought we are very technological savvy because we have uh, it or ict classroom uh, classes sub as a subject we have smart boards we have uh, you know all these uh, laptops or e books and stuff like that. this was technology for us but uh, when we got uh, you know set remotely and we had to do a, a class where everybody was working from remote uh, then suddenly everything came on to the zooms and the g meets and the so on so forth so uh, but if you see this uh, perspective of a student they are missing this uh, students the, the, their friends in the classroom and uh, going forward let's assume you know coming year or few months later you know people are vaccinated and you know th- uh, people have started traveling do you think the online learning will still continue and uh, face to face will also have its own uh, uh, importance the blended format like everybody talks about now uh, see one thing is for sure that uh, online platform is here to stay it is going to be a hybrid platform e learning is here to stay forever now so in fact when we just had uh, you know armchair philosophers and talks about uh, uh, we had just shifted from blackboard to green board and to uh, gradually white board and just we had replaced uh, chalk and duster with a kind of uh, uh, you know pen and something on the board markers, markers but yes. actually what the transformation was required is the role of the educators uh because that that change uh, so as you have asked that whether when we will have uh, you know a vaccination and a hopeful uh, silver lining uh, in future and of course finally things would be in fact now also it uh, it's no more new i would say it's normal uh, in any case and hybrid learning learning is going to stay so the role of educators is going to be of paramount importance the role of uh, teachers will no more be a traditional uh, kind of a role they would be more like facilitators motivators enablers and coordinating for providing a uh, pointers to academic audio or text or video resources rather than mere transmitter of knowledge see earlier if you uh, as you had said that you know you wish that my classes were like this or i was taught like this now i always talk to my uh, educators team that actually education starts where the textbook stops earlier Absolutely. it used to be like open page number so and so i said you have to tell in advance the children that this is the topic i'm going to research as much as you can learn whatever you want to learn about that topic and then if there is any doubt that remains you may come back to me so that is going to uh, be the scenario you know students will be in fact uh, the school how it would be students will be able to share the knowledge and experience with different students in online communities now from all over the world so when mm-hmm. we usually used to talk as global village now exactly we are living that term global village global so village. earlier there were words now it has been so maybe this uh, thoughts were sent in the universe and that is how uh, lo behold uh, universe has granted the wish see for example many of my colleagues have developed flip classrooms so where students spend time online watching lectures interacting with others accessing uh, excellent uh, additional material and then they would meet other students and the educators in smaller groups for discussion now we have breakout rooms in zoom so we make maximum use of those breakout rooms 
and so this is how uh, you know students are going to be helped in mastering the content that is very important and students learn very effectively in this new in environment also uh, going further as you say that how is the scenario going to be going forward when uh, things would be uh, it's normal as such as i told you i don't call it new normal anyway but then we have seen development of technologies like uh, brain imaging uh, recording eye tracking movement automated responses or monitoring and more powerful computational approaches that have made it very easier to collect the data so now if we look at we can now generate gigantic data sets isn't it so that can be mined and explored and shared so this is going to be the classrooms mm -hmm. now when uh, post covid uh, when it would be f to f we call it face to face or hybrid learning it would be partly online partly uh, you know in school so now with this kind of data which is when i'm talking about the data field analytics data analytics has emerged in response to this explosion of available data so the optimal use of these new technologies as well as the great potential for innovative approaches for studying complex problems due to the availability of these technologies has increased collaboration and cooperation so Absolutely. and uh, one more thing just i would like to add uh, and you hear is that when you look at this uh, emer uh, you know emerging landscapes of education we cannot afford to overlook rising stars like baijus and vedantu who oh, yes. have actually made a major impact in short time so before the covid i mean they knew as if they knew this was coming my advances in technologies driving the pace of transformation so that is the key Thank you.